Hello all. In this video, I will cover PROC export. So what is it? Now it is used to export an SAS dataset file into an Excel file. So basically, we are trying to convert a SAS dataset into an Excel file format. So here the most important thing is syntax because we need to be careful about the semicolon we are using. So let's come to the syntax. Here it is proc export data is equal to data set name. The data set which you want to convert it into Excel, you will write it here. Then out file is equal to the location where you want to store it slash the file name you have to give a name to that Excel file dot what is the type of the file. Okay. DBMS is equal to identifier that is CSV, XLSX or XLS which are the types of your file. So that type of file will come over here also and over in DBMS also. Then replace semicolon run semicolon. So please be careful that semicolon is used only in replace other than that you cannot see semicolon anywhere. So you have to be careful about that as it is an interview question and they are very particular regarding the semicolon at that time. Now let's change the things and try to execute one. Let's make it sas help dot class. Okay. Now I will take the location part. So let's remove everything. Let's say I am taking in this folder the sas uh, user dot b94. So see this is the location. So I will just copy and paste it over here. It should be in quoted string slash i as i told you the file name so let me name it as class rip uh, class underscore report dot i will try to first convert it in csv so you can either write it as xlsx also or xls whatever type you want then in dbms is equal to identifier obviously i'll get here now csv okay now replace semicolon run semicolon so now i will run this code over here can you see we have class underscore report dot csv now i'll go to the download file the file is ready and i'll open the file now over here you can see that file is ready and we have that data as it was so this is where your proc export is helping you so it will transfer it will convert it into an excel file and the data will be as it is okay so in interview they are you know very particular about the syntax of proc export now the second thing they ask is why do we prefer proc export for excel file or what is the difference between proc export and ods so for the one who does not know what is ods it is an output delivery system which again help us to convert a file of SAS dataset into an, another format. But there it is not only ex, uh, Excel, we can also convert in PDF, RTF, PPT, uh, doc, document and all. So why, what is the difference? Okay, so first we'll see the difference and then I'll tell you why do we use PROC export for Excel file. So proc export number one, it can be used only to export in Excel format as I told you, but ODS can be used for even PDF, Excel, RTF, PPT. So your SAS data set can be converted into so many types using ODS, right? Now proc export can handle large Excel file. This is the main reason we use proc export for your Excel file because it has been seen that if it if you are using ODS, let's say you have a file with more than 10,000 observation. That time it tends to give error for large Excel file. The ODS tends to give error for that. Henceforth, we use PROC export that time. The third difference over here is we cannot do styling or formatting. So it transfers the data as it is, as I showed you. In syntax, you cannot change anything in that data set. However, it was in a SAS data set. Directly, it will be converted into your Excel file. But in ODS, we have both styling and formatting available. Okay. Next one is proc export is faster. 
definitely it will be faster than ODS because we don't have any styling and formatting options only in PROC export. So it can quickly convert it. While ODS because we have uh, options available so it is more flexible but little slower than PROC export. And obviously the syntax of it differs. So the syntax of PROC export I have already told you which is here. And if I talk about syntax of your ODS you can see ODS type type means like let's say PDF for now and then file is equal to copy as path slash file name dot type and then any style or statement if you want to provide you can provide that and then ODS type so I told you type here as a given example as PDF so ODS PDF close semicolon so over here you can see semicolon is coming everywhere but in proc export it is not like that okay so these are the things you should know now why do we prefer proc export for excel file it is very clear that it is more faster and it can handle your large excel file hence we use proc export for it so that's all in this video stay tuned for more videos guys and please subscribe my channel daily i'll try to upload one or two videos Please subscribe my channel for updates. Thank you all.